morning everybody. About 8.30, 8.15 on the Leeds Liverpool Canal. Day two, we're just leaving Gargrave. So we're in this beautiful Yorkshire countryside. Another little lock. The engineering really is remarkable. Morning folks. Morning, you're right. Yeah, yeah, Liverpool, here we come. Righto, carry on. Yeah, morning. I think he said this is the toughest bit, didn't he? We've been impressed with the number and range of narrow boats as we've come along the canal. Some of them are beautifully maintained and obviously pride and joy. A bit like that one. And there's obviously quite a few people living on these boats long term. Stopping. Yeah, lovely, mate. Have a nice drive. Yeah, we will do. This is, we're on an aqueduct over the river. Over there is a railway bridge over the same river. It's all just remarkable engineering. Building the transport system of the past. And if you look in the sides of the canals, they're often stone lined. And just the amount of work that went into building these things for hundreds of kilometers it's just staggering. It's one thing to build canals in flat country like the Netherlands. It's quite another one to build it in the hills. Anyway, on we go. Ah, plan B. We've left the canal towpath in favour of the country roads, the towpath deteriorated and was probably more suitable for mountain bikes than what we're doing, packing panniers. So here we are, shortly we're going to be back on a major road, which is not ideal, but it is, as they say, what it is. So, here we are, this is all quite remarkable. We're in the Essie Cafe. And this is where Essie stoves are made, and I'll just show you. So we've just enjoyed a very good coffee, and for me, fruit's gone, and for Mary, a lemon slice. Uh, we've had a pretty tough couple of hours after leaving Gargrave. The track could be described as Agricultural, agricultural, primitive, dangerous, hazardous, and so after an hour or so, we uh, stopped, got off that, and uh, actually hit the highway for a while, which was in itself not good trucks and all of the traffic. But anyway, we have re-found our way down to the Canal Topa, and here we are. And this has been just a very welcome day.
round the side of the Fowl Ridge Reservoir and this is tight. And this is Burnley. We're in the uh, heart of former industrial grandeur or awfulness or however you want to look at it. Hello. But at least the, uh, the path is being treated to hot mix which is really quite wonderful. Just going to stop here. And although the surroundings are pretty horrible really, um, the surface is terrific. I've lost count of the bridges, but this is 129B. And then we're off the nice surface, back onto compacted gravel. Bark back. Now this is just idyllic. It's a brick paved towpath. The sun is out. It's downhill. The wind has dropped. And this, you would think, is what we came for. The series of locks that started ages ago. I don't know how many there are, but clearly climbing up into the hills. And this is just magical. So here we are in Wigan. will certainly give everything the shake. So we'll 
leaving Wigan, uh, the cycle path, the towpath rather, is just exactly what I'd expected. Good surface, pleasant riding, it's just lovely, really delightful. We're heading to Newburgh and I think it's the Red Lion for our overnight stop and we'll be there in about 45 minutes to an hour I would think. And that's the life. About a kilometre ago we came into Lancashire and there was a sign there saying welcome to Lancashire and I thought well I'm home where I was born. Apart from the train thundering past, the towpath here and the canal beautifully quiet and peaceful. <laughs> 